Hi guys, Olive here, coming to you today from yet another brand new filming location in my new place. This mantelpiece is a work in progress, but for right now, it's just holding some of my favorite books. So today I wanted to do something that I actually haven't done in a little while, which is a discussion video. So far this year, I have read two books that I have had a similar experience with. That experience is having a certain impression of the book by reading the synopsis and then finding the book to be entirely different upon the reading of it. The first book I experienced this with earlier in the year was The Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi, which to me was very much pitched as a mystery. From reading the synopsis of that book, I gathered that this would be a story of the famous opera singer trying to find out who leaked parts of her backstory that became part of this opera that she was supposed to headline. That was part of the story, but it was not the biggest part of the story. And so I felt myself feeling kind of disappointed that my expectations of the book were not met. The second book that I experienced this with was The Almond Picker by Simon and Agnella Hornby, which I read last month. To me, this was another book that was pitched as a mystery that ended up not being one. I thought this book was going to center around Menulara, The Almond Picker, the main character's backstory, and trying to figure out who she was and the efforts to do so. And where The Queen of the Night ended up being a very lyrical and elegant melodrama, this book ended up being a quiet examination of a small town in Sicily. And while neither of those real topics that the books actually covered are offensive or unlikable, I just don't know that I would have read the book having known the real synopsis. So this leads me to the question and the idea of how much of our experience of a book is what we're bringing into by our expectations starting off. I know a lot of people like to go into a book blind, don't have a whole lot of information regarding the book, maybe they're just recommended it by a person whose opinion they really trust. But for me, a synopsis is incredibly important. As you can probably tell from watching my channel, I really like to discover new books. And by new, I mean backlist books that no one's ever heard of. So when I am browsing at a library book sale or a used bookstore, that synopsis is hugely important as to whether or not I'm going to end up purchasing that book or not. I want to know the basic premise of what's involved in that book. I want to know if it's something that will interest me. And though I am not suggesting that it was intentional on the part of the publisher, but I felt incredibly misled by the synopses of these two books. I don't know if that was my own fault in reading the synopsis incorrectly, or if it was the case of a publisher trying to market the book to someone who normally wouldn't read that book. I can only imagine how difficult it is to write a synopsis. I have never personally done so. I imagine it must be quite difficult to boil down an entire plot into a two or three paragraph summary and still not contain any spoilers. But I think synopses are very important for setting our expectations. I do think that the publishers bear a certain responsibility in making quality synopsis that is accurately representative of the content of the book. But then on the other hand, I am also thinking about what is our role as readers in setting an expectation of a book. When I picked up The Almond Picker expecting a mystery, I felt as though I was doing the book a disservice because that's not what that book was. And my expectations of the book being a mystery affected the entire reading experience of that book, even if it was unintentional. Anticipating some sort of plot twist was just deeply rooted in the back of my mind, and I kept waiting for it to happen, and it was distracting me from actually reading the book. So this is something I wanted to open up to discussion. Have you ever had this experience where you've read a synopsis that you've ended up thinking was completely misrepresentative of what the book was about? Did that affect your overall enjoyment of the book? What kind of expectations do you bring to a book? Are you the type of person who really wants a solid synopsis or are you someone who wants to go in blind? This is just something I've really been thinking a lot about lately and I wanted to get your input on it. So you guys know what to do by this point. You can leave me a comment in the comment section if you wanna discuss it elsewhere on social media. All of my links are in the description box below. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.